So let me show you a little bit of the product so you have an idea of what that's like. I'd like for you to take this address down. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash econ dash demo dot two dash increase dot com. This is an open site. Feel free to go in there. We have several different models available in there that you can look at and actually do configurations. You see some of the models may have information about them and even videos of the models working. These are just a small sample of models where you can play around and you can see how you could leverage our configurator tool in different ways. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start out one of these models then. Okay, and here we have our demo site for our econ models. You see you have uh, many different uh, models here that you can get to play with and look at the different options that you might have or the different features that we might be leveraging in each one of these models. Notice as well that on top of the models you have little icons for information and for the top three ones you also have a little flash demo of somebody actually going through and clicking through the model so you can uh, browse through those as well. Or if you'd like to actually go through and use the model yourself you can just click on it. I'm going to start out with the example of this door model. So we have here a user interface where we have questions that are based off of the model information that uh, we've set up. We also have different tabs here. These different tabs will have either more questions, which is the case for these. This is in a specification tab. I also have margin, margin and price. And the last page here we define to be a drawing, which we'll show you in a little bit as I start uh, my model here. As I answer some of the questions, I'll show you the drawing. So note here on this right side, I also have a blank space, which will turn out to be a picture of the product that I'm actually configuring once I pick the correct door model. So I'm going to start out, and notice I'll start out here with the position hinges. I've selected that option. Remember, because of this being a declarative engine, I don't have to start with the first question. And I'll pick some sizes here. I can also do special, which means that I can type in the sizes myself instead of being a standard. I can open up a calculator if I'd like, make some calculations. In this case here, I'm just going to pick a standard size. For the model itself, I have a couple of different options here. I can see this zoom button, but I also have a drop down. So on the drop down, I have the different model names that I can pick from, but I'm actually going to use the zoom button here today. And what the zoom is doing is giving me more than just a name. It's giving me the item number, the item name, also a picture of that item and the sales price. So I can look through and see, okay, and see the different prices and uh, as a customer they may pick this model for example. And as you can see when I pick that model, the picture of that model automatically displayed here on the right side. The customer goes, no actually I'd like a model that's more like this model. Okay, change the model you have a new picture here that shows the model that you're configuring. And remember, now I've I started here on the bottom, I went back and changed this answer, I'm going to go ahead and put in here a left handle instead of a right handle. Before we had gone through the drawing, since I hadn't picked a model or a size or a position of the hinges, I didn't have a drawing, but now we can go back to the drawing tab and if I click on that, you see that I have my door here with a position hinge on the left side. I have my measurements, 1900 by 1000. 
and those are to scale. This is actually a drawing that the model has created. So this is not a, a preset uh, picture. This is, this is actually a drawing that the model made. You also see here on the right side the beginnings of our margin and pricing calculation. If you go back to the door, and I'm going to change the size and the hinge, put the hinge to the right side, and I'll change the size from 1900 to 2000 and uh, 1250. If I go back to my drawing, I should see more boxy because of the changes I made, uh, 1250 by 2000, and I changed the position of the hinge. So you also have the ability here to make some drawings to scale so that you can maximize your accuracy because you're seeing exactly what it's going to look like to scale so that if the customer looks at it and says well this door looks a little funny this is not the right measurements they can go and modify it to whatever needs to be done if i go into my glazing area which is my second tab i have a similar zoom button Again, I can just pick an option or I can go through my zoom button and pick the specific glazing that uh, this customer needs. I'm going to pick this one. I'm going to make a couple more choices. And note here on the right side that as I picked a specific glazing, I'm going to go ahead and change it to a different one. I'm changing my margin and price calculations based on the price of my glazing. I'm going to my accessories. Here I have a couple more options. Zoom button. I can pick my hinges. Here I have uh, my price. My hinges. I'll pick this one. See my total price. Because it calculated automatically uh, a default number of hinges for this particular door size based on some calculations. Of course, you can change the number of hinges. Like I'm going to change this to four, for example. Now I've changed my price over here for this item, for this line item, and I've changed my price and margins. For like adjustable hinges, I can include that. I can include the lock. Notice that when I included a lock, it needed to ask me some more specific information about the lock. So if I take that back out, this is part of that dynamic form using the latest .NET technologies. So you can simply if I'd like it, great. I have to need. I need some more questions answered for for this particular uh, lock. If I don't, it doesn't show up. So if I say yes, I do need a lock. I want it to be non-standard cylindrical. Notice that when I check that, my options here for uh, my cylinders have changed. If I uncheck that, I see cylinders down here. It went to cylinder instead of cylinders, and now I have an option for a zoom button where you can see more information about the options here. And obviously the options um, are different as well. So I have those three. If I change here, I have all of those different options. Multiple locking system and night lock, remember. Also calculating at the same time as I'm doing my configuration, calculating my, my uh, prices and my margins at the same time. I get to pick some door handles. We've seen different ways of using the zoom button or actually just going through and changing. Now, what if I've decided that at this point, actually, this is not the kind of door model I want. I'd like a different door. I don't have to undo any of these answers. I can just move back to my door click my zoom button and I don't want any glazing on this door. I go back to my accessories. You see there's no glazing anymore. Just hinges and locks. And my options are there for the options that I need uh, and can have. And the other options went away. Again, very flexible. This is a different way of asking a question and presenting this to the interface where instead of having either a zoom button or a drop down, you actually have the picture showing up. So you can easily just go, okay, I'd like 
this strip over here. You add the price and you're done. Like a fitting screw. You have a price and you're done. When I go back to my specifications, you can see that you can start building the specifications so that you know the details of this particular door. I'll show you in the next model how these specifications can be used for some reports. And remember you also have your join that's available to you. So this is an example of my door model.